Welcome back to Road to 56 as Ireland. We have just joined the Allies and I've already run into a problem of where war support is a bit low because we're fighting an offensive war because Britain declared war on Iceland. Yep. So a lot of my political power now is going into building that up and here so I can try and get the war support was tolerate any of this stuff and get some extra stability out of it. You can see that being down by 40% means on war support means we have 12% less stability. Well, our destroyers are driving off some submarines and they've sunk a couple. That's good. And we damaged a few as well. Now that's a victory. But hey, if we, if we simply drive them off, I'm okay with that. That was convoy raiding, I think. Yeah, I've set, I've set a couple of these to convoy raiding just in case the... Ah yes, there's going to be a naval invasion of Northern Ireland and Leinster. Ready. Which means I'm going to need to build a few more ports. That's urban, that's mountain. We're probably going to try and target Dublin and Belfast. And we have some extra army XP. I'm going to go with integrated support. So I... It's probably more useful to me. So... Well, I don't really use signal companies, but... Yeah. Integrated support. But it buffs organization and support attack and soft attack. Those are always worth buffing. Now, to go with next. I research heavy MG heavy MGs for aircraft because we're gonna need them. Hmm. Yep, they're still trash talking each other, the AI. Oh, right, Iceland has capitulated. We had zero impact on that, so I am just going to Exit. We're still fighting an offensive war. Even the... Oh yeah, there's also the fact that the... Um, Britain declared war on Iraq. Some things never change. So I suppose once that's done, it'll be back to a defensive war, which... We're a lot more inclined... People are a lot more inclined to support. Hey, they declared war on us. Hmm. Extra soft attack. Hard attack. I'm going to go with this instead. Factory output. That's always good. We have... We have enough for half an extra wing. Means we've got some to spare. Good. And the Brits have a couple of patrol wings. Oh yeah. Is there anything I can do to help Finland right now? Probably not.
don't remember them actually joining us last time around. There is some element of random chance in this, but uh, in this game. Well. Let's take five political power to gain one base stability. Eh, maybe. I'm not in any major hurry for that. After that, the reason I was going with that infectious disease wage is so I can get this. Yeah, that's probably going to bite us in the long run after the war. But for now, let's just go with this. An eight DSS doing that. Really dumb fucking idea there, Phil. Right, Bola and Bamba, they have been come by work. Yes, what's it? Is. Lost a couple of British convoys there. That's it. Two less submarines, two less convoys. The day. Us. Of course, the main reason I'm going away this for this is we need the stability and we need the extra political power gain. Our gain is going to be a flat 0.15, just like stable currency listed up there. Which, that's that's just going to that's just a flat buff, percentage based. Let's see now, artillery. I'm going to go into, the, into this just to catch up a little bit. My, my immediate goal is to try and get, get enough power to get up to war economy at least. And then go straight into this expanded departments thing. We only have, we need two more factories. Now we are getting there slowly, but... Rather have the leeway. I know this isn't very really important, I just like having them heat up a bit. What I am going to do is try and upgrade some of these railways. So that they got so that they all go through the Irish Sea, and thus we're likely to be able to support them. Someone's planning to do a naval invasion of the Shetlands. I kind of feel like I should be saying good luck with that. Not sure why. And I think I'm going to bump the... I know I'm putting the, these ahead of the development of Northern Ireland, but... Or else But we are going to need some eyes out here to keep an eye on you know, for this, this invasion force that's coming.
And we are slowly gaining people for the army. Heavy bomb locks basically means we'll do more damage with the bombs. The reason why I'm going with them over bomb bays is they're a bit more flexible. They're multi-purpose, multi, they're multi this weaponry, and that's exactly what we need. Need to update the destroyers as well. The... Gonna get this, we're going to get Fleet Protector eventually. Then we're going to go straight into Destroyer Leader because that's what we're using with him. And then probably Hunter Killer. everything the Germans don't have nailed down. Extra military factory four. Oh yeah, extra field artillery. Nice to have, but we're not in any immediate hurry for it. Interrupted. I bet that's those. Oh, and they're trying, and they're trying to go for the Isle of Man as well. In the, pre in the previous game, I ended up having to create paratroops to take that back. I mean, Ireland's not exactly famous for its paratrooper divisions, so oh, just a mi mildly amusing turn of events. Ooh, Verdi's taking some hits there. We've lost some planes. Hmm. Oh, economy is available. Yeah, we only have two factories going on the on this now, but they're quick to build, so it's not too severe. Cultures pick on the courts. Right. Gotta go with army reform now because now we have the extra time to spend. It's a good time to do it. Hey, now we have a Mayo, the Antrim Torpedo Factory for submarines. Upgrade this stuff. Yeah, upgrade them quite a bit. I know this is going to take a while to refit, but... Right. That's course.
and possibly our convoy raiders. Give her a slightly better. Um. And Scrony give her a kind of pirate icon because Scrony whale. Second desk course, doing 90 submarine work. Wouldn't mind seeing that toned down just a little bit, maybe to something like 15 rather than, rather than 20. I don't know why it's called why it's the second air support wing because we had didn't have one before. Ah, some of the names are off. Numbers are a bit off. How the old line go? Two hardest things in in program pro programming are naming things not off by one errors and off by one errors. Probably butcher that. My surprise. This up to the top. Oh, we already have it. I suppose that can go on more trucks and we sell them off because we're not really using them. Destroy your leader. Well, the Lancer might not be a bad idea. Take care for now. Idea a rush Sanishka. So yeah, now we're fighting a defensive war. In addition to an offensive war, so those two cancel each other out. Which has given us an extra chunk of stability. Hmm. Assembly line production might be better, especially since we do need to we'll need to upgrade stuff. Is the attack in Greece? Submarines. Now to start upgrading our close air support.
Two bomb locks. Three. We'll leave the electronics for now. Drop tanks. Heavy machine gun. Ah. Too heavy. Give it a different icon so I can tell them apart. Let's see, it doesn't make any real difference. I just want to go with one that I like the look of. And now we need to replace them all. And of course, I can't actually just convert from the suck well because the layout a bit. But I think for that to count, you have to use the exact same weapon loadout. Kind of annoying, but there you go. actually getting more damage done by sinking convoys with our destroyers than we are from subs. Ah, well. Huh, never I didn't even have to build anything here. Yeah. Mess these days. We're not at war with Japan yet, but still once I get these railways built up just so I have that for later. Five days we get another operative. And so I need to start working on our home guard. So yeah, this does require both the counterintelligence, civilian department, and uh, our war and our economy lots are set to arsenal mobilization or above. We lost some of our old close air support planes. Lose stability or gain stability, some extra power. Increase some and come using by about 5%. It's not enough to be major, but we're already losing that. going to be and those fascists anyway. This will increase very slightly. This will increase a little bit.
think I'm going to go for improved working conditions now. This is going to affect our factory outpost a little bit. But it'll bring our stability back up and that's never a bad thing here. So yeah, we have three of our improved air support planes. Placing some old ones. Probably just going to be replaced as they get lost. Or it does it internally. And back up to full XP again, just so that I have the extra XP. The reason why I'm going with these is it's they don't cost a lot of factories and they're they provide just a little bit of bit of a boost for counterintelligence work. Well I suspect that the Finns are gonna be giving them a lot of intelligence to deal with. Wait. What just happened there? The Germans are attacking Sweden. Even though they're not at war. What the actual fuck? <laughs> or is it that they've given... The so it's because they've got military access. Like... That's just... Wash. Safe cracker. So our agency is full up. I don't know what the hell is going on there. And on that, on that bombshell, probably time to put an end to this episode. Right, see you in the next one. Bye for now.